Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. This is the second time I am pouring paint, pouring paint um, onto rocks. This time I'm using a pouring medium. And uh, there are all kinds of ways to pour paint kind of goes without saying but uh, what I am doing is just using individual colors and mixing them on top of the rock some people will do uh, put paint into into a cup or a container and then pour it which is where the pouring comes from um, sort of kind of the same effect not really I'm going to be doing one of those type eventually uh, if it clears up enough today I may actually go out and prime some rocks but I think they're all going to be too wet so anyway let's uh, go see what I'm talking about alrighty let's try this again we have these archaeology acrylic paints from Dollar Tree red white blue white and red red white blue this time I have them mixed with the sergeant pouring medium also from Dollar Tree and each one of them got about a third of that bottle and it was right there at the shoulder so we're gonna try this on painted rocks these have been painted with uh, Rust-Oleum uh, semi-gloss white. So we'll start out with the white. Kind of get that all. Get it pretty well drenched. needed to flow all the way down around the rock like so take some of the red these are not level my box is not even we'll go with some of the blue back to the white Back to red. And blue. Back to white again. let that run a little bit and we'll start over here on this one I made up quite a bit of white I may have to go back and make more This type of art, it really doesn't matter if you got the shakes. Tremors may actually help a little bit. Let's go with blue this time.
and then the red. There's all different ways you can do this. Just have fun adding your colors. Knowing when enough is enough is always a problem. Touch around the bottoms here. Make sure it's flowing down. You don't have to get your paint bottle in the messy paint. You can wear gloves. <laughs> uh, see what do I want over here? A little blue. Looks like I got a heart starting right there. Let's come over here, add a little bit of blue. Fall down that way. Maybe a little bit of white over here. Need to make this fall a little bit. It's not getting on the edge. Hard to see the back, but I think it's flowing pretty well. And we're going to walk away from this for a little bit and come back when it dries somewhat. Alrighty, these dried a lot nicer. <laughs> they kind of look like mushrooms sitting on top of them cups. Let me turn them around and show you the other side. Alright, they still aren't 100% dry. I 
may have to come in and touch up a little bit. Alrighty then, uh, I think they turned out really well. Um, they're pretty, they're pretty glossy the way they are. I'll probably try to uh, spray them with a with a clear gloss just to make them pop a little bit more. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with those. It took them quite a while to, to dry, and there are a few spots where where it's not as glossy as others. I don't know why, but anyway, let me know what you think, folks. Give me a thumbs down or thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever it is y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around your social media, that'd be fandoculous. Excuse me. Go check me out on Facebook or Instagram. I'll have links wherever that is on your device of choice. You'll also find links to similar videos related videos unrelated videos <laughs> you'll find my email my snail mail all that good stuff so if your loved ones are nearby give them a kiss and a hug if they're not give them a call hit them up on facebook let them know you think about it let them know you love them we ain't promised tomorrow people we ain't promised our next breath so i see y'all again i hope you have a fan day so watch y'all